Have yourself a merry little Christmas. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> They're every, it's everywhere. I've got one mission and one mission only. Find the old treasures and get them to new vintage lovers' homes. We here at Jolie Flips Vintage pick through every location we visit with a fine tooth comb. Be it thrift shops, garage or estate sales, vintage markets, or antique malls. If there are secondhand luxury pieces lurking around, we will surely find them. So pull up a seat, get cozy, and Jolie flip with us. Hey you guys, sorry about the noise because they're always cutting grass here in Florida. <laughs> I am going to World Thrift. I'm so excited because it is the weekend. We're gonna go to World Thrift and then we're gonna head over to another thrift store. I have no idea where, but let's check it out. Oh man, it's such a nice breezy day. I was so happy driving here that, oh look how cute. Oh my God, I need to buy myself one of those. <laughs> I was so happy driving here that I was singing in sync loud in the car as if I was like, you know, back in the day. <laughs> the 90s was the best, wasn't it? All right, here we go, here we go. 50% off of red, um, 50 off of green. What's the next one? What's the next one? Oh, there might be another color. We might've missed it. We'll get it. Oh, there's so many people. Okay, let's grab a cart. Oh, it's 75% off of green. Uh, I'm sorry, blue also. So green, red, and blue. I, I just went ahead and grabbed this beautiful long necklace with a cord. I believe it is only $4.99. And I have to this, but I'm going to hand it to them because um, I swear, I don't know what happened. The minute I touched it, it actually broke. It's an 80s piece. I guess I can repair it though. $5.99. Literally, the minute I touched it, it, it broke. And I wasn't rough with it. <laughs> but I don't know. I'm going to, maybe I'll buy it. And I grabbed this sniffer. It's very large, uh, but it is $24, but I'm thinking I want it for my collection. It's not on sale, it's huge, right? It's gorgeous. So I think I'm gonna pick that up for myself. It is pricey though, it is pricey. And I saw this, $24.99, but it's not vintage at all, but I love the wood and the handle. The balls in it are cool too, but it's by Rocher. Roche, I, I don't know. I've seen the brand. I've seen the brand before. Um, anyway, the prices are a little uh, steep. I don't see anything else here that I might like. There's that Blendo bowl. In a minute. Gosh, is that a? Is that a? Um, these are nice. First of all, I thought it was a Raku pottery. You know, because of the cracking. Um, but it's a hand-painted tray with intentional cracking. Man, I like it. And it's signed. $3.99. And I saw another one. Did you guys see it? I'm very high-pitched, my voice. <laughs> signed. I wonder if this is someone famous. I don't know, y'all, but I'm digging it. So $3.99 a piece. I'm grabbing them. When you come here on a Saturday, make sure you pack your patience. I have to. This is really nice for $2.99. It almost looks sugared, but it's textured. And it might be Italian. Let's just see if any of the flowers are broken. I think this is $2.99. I think it's in pretty good shape. You know, just very slight chipping, if any. Oh man. Let's go ahead and grab that for $2.99. I wonder if they priced it that low because they were like, you know what, this is gonna break here. So let's get it sold. <laughs> oh, this is Millie Fury. Oh, that's really cool. It's hand blown for $2.99. Do they have two? Oh, that's cool. I could definitely, something unique like that I would bring to um, knickknacks. It's another platform formed by Crazy Lamp Lady. And I gotta tell you, it's a lot of fun. Is this blue sky? Yeah, blue sky, and that's pretty. Calla lilies, $10 though, no sale. I'm gonna leave that. This is interesting because I think it's painted brass. Sherry, it says, $10. Let me try to look this up. 
I honestly can't find anything exact on it. It's nice though. It's nicely painted. I hope someone picks that up for $10. All right. Oh, she's cute. Oh, is she a Joseph original? Oh, she's a Marika's original by Lifton. $7.99 with broken fingers. These are cool. Wow. Made in China. It's that thick porcelain. You could always tell it's just of a lower quality when it's just thick. Yeah, I don't know. It might be Chinese. I'm not, um, it's cool though, but I'm not getting any information on it. I don't really want to pay $8 for it though. Okay, that's really pretty. Oh, that would be half off of $5.99. Okay, let's keep going. I'm gonna move someone's card out of the way. Oh, this is really huge. I don't understand it. $20, let's look that up. Okay, so, I mean, I can't find anything on it. But for $20, that's really weird. I don't know why there's a cat head on it. But <laughs> we'll leave it. Kind of cool, kind of weird. Um, that's a really... Kind of a cool cat. Alright, that's a pretty unique piece of... Resin. Look at this little penguin. $3.99. Kind of, I just like the shape, but I, I'm kind of over porcelain at the moment. So we'll leave it. This might be a Murano. I think it's the Murano gondola. Ashray, $7.99. I think it is. And I think that may be a good pickup. Is that broken? Oh, it's rough here. Like, super rough, which is telling me it might be a break. Let's just leave it. I'm not sure. I don't want to buy anything that is broken. This is cool. I don't know what's supposed to be on his head. A little chickadee. And a unicorn. Bolotante unicorn. People do ask me for unicorns, but not often. It was just a couple of people recently. Little angel, and is that a soldier? Was able to grab these. They are $7.99, but it's just a whole bunch of kind of hangers with dogs and dog houses. Like, I don't know why, but I feel like I need that. There's a bunch of them. <laughs> And then I got this platter. I just liked the glaze. It's heavy and it is signed, but it, uh, I don't know what it says. Burham. I'm going to pass on her for $8 because it's hard for me to sell pottery these days online. They do well on whatnot and on knickknacks, but i um, having trouble on other platforms and on my website. So is this Polish at all? No. These are uh, Staffordshire. Oh, these are cute. Okay, and I saw, oh, here's that big platter, you guys. Somebody was asking me about it, you know, was curious about it. It is half off now, so it'd be $40, but let's take a picture of it while it's at the bottom there. Okay, so I just took like four different shots of it and tried to look it up online and I just still can't find anything on it. That would be really cool. I think I would pick it up at 75% off. It's still at 80, it would be 40, and I'm just not, I don't think they should, they're not going to sell it. Oh, maybe they will, I'm not sure, but now they put it down here, and it was on top of there, so I think it's a matter of time until they actually break, it actually breaks. And there's a couple of things here, there's pottery that I'm familiar with, I forgot the name of it, let's see, what's the name of it, yeah, Alan Evans, 2006, $14, I just want to see the value of it. At fourteen dollars, that would be kind of hard to resell. It's a, it's not actually my favorite pottery. I don't actually like it, but you know I've sold them in the past. So okay, here we are. I'm just kind of trying to dodge people, y'all. Something you're not seeing. <laughs> Look at this. 
Oh my gosh. I love it. $35. Mm. These can do really well reselling. Um, let's see. That would be half of $24. I think I see. Oh, yeah. I see some broken flowers, so I'll leave that because even at 12 something dollars, 13 dollars, that would I would have a hard time selling broken flowers. Um, okay, let's see. Ooh, I, oh, you know what? I'm gonna pick up the green ones. The green ones like this, they do sell pretty well. Um, I love that too. The green one is cool, this might be Playboy. Let's see. Um, yeah, the Playboy Club. Yeah, these don't sell for anything. Don't be fooled. Even the one with the bunny on the front. Yeah. I've been burned with that. Yeah, I'm not seeing anything too exciting. We might be able to go to the other location faster. Oh, look at this. It's so pretty. Hmm. I wonder if there's more than one. Yeah single small eight ounce cup is not gonna cut it for me no matter what it's selling for um, okay look at this might be a vintage cup it is a vintage cup by russ life's a bitch am i allowed to say bitch on camera i mean they say it on tv that's the one word they don't censor I don't like this mug. <laughs> Only 99 cents too, and it's vintage. <laughs> this is a really cool box. Look at this. $5.99. Oh, it's fine. Something. Let's see. I just tried to take a picture of it. I just like the design though. It's resin here. It's signed. Penguin or Poirin? I don't know. It's chipped and broken right here, so it's cracked right there. So this is probably from Things Remembered. I don't know. I used to work there. I was an engraver. I was an engraver at Things Remembered. Ooh, 99 cents for that really cool tin. Kiwi pineapple, blah, blah, blah. No. Um, like slamming things down. Mikasa's cool. The Mikasa, these can can sell, uh, the Christmas ones can do really well. Owens hearts and stuff and I just don't want it. Delta Zeta Delta. Is that a sorority thing? This is kind of cool. It's this pharmacist sign. Log cabin extract. Viking Handmade, 199 And then this one says... Peddler? Scuttles and pans, buttons and bows, and cure your ills. I'll cure your ills and cheer your woes. 199 Oh no, that's cool. <laughs> I'm just gonna pick it up because it's cool. Look at this music note. That's really nice. Oh, I thought it was like... Ah, there's dust all over it. It's a mosaic thing. I don't know what material that is, wood. It's kind of neat though. $2.99. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know about that. There's this little thing that says meow on it. That's really cute for 99 cents. Oh, he's missing his tail. Therefore, 99 cents. Aw. Oh. Look at this. $2.99. I think it's painted. I don't know. I like it. I like that she's looking out at the um, ocean. I grab that. $2.99. I grab that. It's a little cracker, crackle pitcher with a green handle. For $1.99. I like those. Those are quick flips. People love the little pictures. You could just put a little bit of flowers in there. Oh, little picture. 
a little creamer with a pig on it. And what's behind that? No. Hen house. Colin Mason salt and pepper shakers. All right. Mornings are for coffee and contemplation. That looks like a Stranger Things thing. Let's see the value of that. I don't know, but it definitely has the Stranger Things writing. Damaged up there. I don't know. <laughs> Let's leave it. Oh, that's kind of cool. Let's look at that clock. Check this out. There's like poured resin. It's kind of damaged, but I just want to observe its beauty for a second. It's a lighthouse, sailboat clock of the bird <laughs> i'm not gonna grab it though even just for 3.99 oh what about these yeah it's like lacquered ten dollars a piece and they're signed oh it's broken here what about the other one oh it's missing a thing i think somebody would have already picked that up it's signed i wonder who signed that hmm. i know nothing about that I know you guys always tell me to look at these to see if they're sterling. And it is, but not for $10, right? You wouldn't pick that up for 10 bucks. Um, okay, I see what I think is a Celadon pot. It's gorgeous. Five ninety nine. dollars Wow, I'm gonna pick that up. And maybe it's a modern Celadon kind of style, but we can Oh, we can always keep that. Let's not put it there. Put it between it. There. I like this. Um, I don't know if it's missing anything. Like in the holes. $1.99. And you hang it. What do you put in it? Like flowers? That's really nice. I like it and I like the price. And it's so vintage. And I just brought some more stuff out. Mm, nothing that interesting. This is a little Cinderella precious moments. But I don't really mess with that. It might be brass. Let's see. Brass or copper? It's indented pretty bad. It's really nice. But we will leave it. Is this Michael Aram? What are we looking at here? $7.99. It's all scuffed. But it's kind of a cool piece. Okay. I just want to check these. Weighted silver. They want $25 for each one. It's an old ashtray. $2.99. This one. I like the green glass. But just one. I think I have these actually. They have the same ones. Okay. I saw something else. Was it this? No, but that might be cool. But no, let's leave that. Um, slate is heavy. So although I like slate, I'm not sure how well that sells. But I like the dark little cottage in the background. I picked that up for myself. I have somewhere I can hang that. Look at these glasses. Oh, they're hand painted. Oh, how gorgeous. Yeah. I'm like, ah. <laughs> Commander. I think. Oh, that's creepy. Oh, gosh. Oh, why would you want his eyes to light up like that? I don't know. This one says Jasmine, probably Ray Dunn. Nope. DW Home. Probably smells good. I like the smell of jasmine. I kind of like these little candle holders. How much are they? 99 cents each? That's oh, broken. Oof, really bad. And these are cool. These might actually be Swedish. Um, I forget the name of it. Ustad something, but it says made in Sweden. They want $5.99 a piece. Let's go ahead and grab them. There is two of them, so... There are two of them, so there'll be 12. No discount there. Too bad on the penguins. These are kind of art nouveau. They're $2.99. Godinger, Godinger, Godinger. 
not the greatest brand for me. Um, there's a channel that I watch um, all put together. Andy, she has a great channel and she does pick up brass candle holders all the time and she sells them on her Etsy shop. Please be sure to follow her on Instagram. You can connect with her Etsy shop there in her profile and her bio. But uh, she, she takes these, she thrifts these and then she makes sets. And she does well selling them in sets and I really like that. But um, for three ninety nine, I think I'm gonna leave that one. I don't have any sets I can start. <laughs> But this is kind of neat. Look at this glass. It's almost like an, looks like an, a mini Apern, right? Two ninety nine. Mm, it's kind of slimy. I don't think I want to pick it up. Maybe that would be worth it, but it's, I mean it's gross. <laughs> I could just clean it, but I don't know. Oh, look at this is cool. So this design is just kind of cool, but they want twelve ninety nine for it. Hmm. I wonder if that would have been a good pickup. I don't know. I'm not going to turn my phone off and look that one up because the more you do it, the more it, your phone dies doing it. So if something's really worth it, I'll do it. Look at this. $12.99 for the snakes. Oh, that's pretty. Hmm. Look at these. Oh, it's missing. One of them is missing their head. Oh, it's because it's ceramic. These are kind of cool too. Those are thin. I just ran into my friend Kim. She's um, Can't Talk I'm Thrifting. She, that's her name. <laughs> Can't Talk I'm Thrifting on Instagram as well as whatnot. Please check her out. We live kind of close by to each other, but you guys look at this little reindeer thing. Isn't that cute? I'm digging it. I don't know what you put in it, but he's just so cute. $3.99. So cute. Let's put a jacket or something over over that painting. You know, I don't know if it's a. Oops, I'll pick that up. Thank you so much, sir. I don't know if it's a painting or a um, print, but it is just cool. All right, I just don't want to ruin it. Okay. All right, back to here. There's this, and she had picked up that platter that I said I'm not sure if it's Michael Laram. And it actually is. I, I missed it. And so she picked it up, which is fine. It's fine. Because I have a lot of them. And her her score. Z Gallery here. And these are cute. There's a Sun End Star 299 bent here. Alright. What exactly are we looking for? <laughs> Whoa, look at these, you guys. Oh, these are gonna be a crap ton of money for sure. Yeah, forty dollars. Look at them. The porcelain is all chipped, and they still want that much money. These are old. Wow. Let's just admire them for a second. There's two of them. Wow. These are neat. Really have to dig in this section. I mean, really focus. I like this design, marble. And what is this candle? It's cool. Well, I kind of like the design of this face. Oh, I was hoping when I turned it over it was Raku, but it's not. It's $4.99. It is pottery. I don't know that I like it enough, but it, it is cool. We'll put it back where, where it belongs. Might have been worth something. All right. They want 100 bucks for these, thinking that they're something special. They're beautiful, but... Um, I don't know. These look pretty modern. Made in India. I'm not sure. There's two of them. One here, one at the bottom. Okay, so I got these off the wall. There are no cracks in them. They're cute. $2.99 for that one. And then I found deer. Found the deer. I think that's going to sell really well around Christmas time. They're only $2.99. Let's hope that the, this other deer doesn't have any cracks in it. I love stained glass. I really, truly do. Oh, this is great. It's a great pickup. Okay, cool. What else we got here? I was looking for loose side candles. That's where I found these stained glass pieces. There was someone in the way, so it was hard to film, so I didn't really show you, but 
Um, there are no lucite candles there. These might be fanciful, fancy flights or whatever. I don't know. They're not not very attractive. Don't really see anything here that I like. These are ceramic. $7.99. Parksville, New York. Cool off. Always check these things for Sid Dickens. Sid Dickens is a great seller. This might be Moana. Yeah, it's, uh, I forget. Uh, the Demigod. What's his name again? <laughs> Piece of selenium here. And you can use that to cleanse your crystals. Cleanse your crystals. Oh, this is nice. So that picture is just a really cool shape. Missing something there, I think. Alrighty. And I'm also going to pick these up. I think that they are hand-painted, but they are really cool hangers. $5.99, but I just really kind of like it. And I figured maybe I can use that too at home because we're looking to put some hangers by the doorway, like the entryway, so that we can hang things like our jackets and stuff like that. Um, let's see. Oh, look carefully here to make sure we don't miss anything. Oh, painted. This is a random hand. Oh, it's plastic. I thought it would be heavy. $5.99. I don't usually like to pick up this style. Because um, this part, I don't know. I call them cloisonne also, but I'm not sure. I don't know sure if that's what these are. But these this part, the silver part, they can chip off easily because they're cheaply applied. One three ninety nine. That's pretty cool, though. What is this? What a cute little apple box. I don't know. It's resin. Cute though. Okay, guys. I don't know. Not been getting lucky here the last couple of times, but I mean, we found some cool stuff here. Right? What is this? A trivet? Like some kind of Scandinavian like trivet? What about these brass things? Oh, this is like, is it a finial? $9.99. It's a lot of money though, but maybe it's something. I don't know. Let's keep going. Let us keep going. I always pass by all the crucifixes, but some of them can be really, wow, this is nice. Oh, they want $30. That's really very ornate. Remember at the beginning of the video, I picked up trees that look like this? I found another one here. Oh, grab that for $2.99. I, I like it. It's like the way it was made. I think it's pretty neat. It's kind of neat too. Something I saw here. Oh, the hummingbirds. Oh, that's cracked right there. Okay. Yeah, let's look at the art. Oh, what's that? Oh my gosh, I think it's an oil painting. Ten bucks. Oh, but look, it's like damaged right here. Well, not too much. Yeah, it's. I want to pay ten bucks for it, and well, somebody will pick that up. Um, I have a lot of oil paintings. So I know some people are really die-hard oil painting pickup fans. Oh, you know what? I have something similar to this at home. I think that I'm going to add this to it. It's project piece, I think. Uh, mine has reindeer. I could sell it as a set now. Something similar. So let's grab that. I know I'm already shopping for Christmas. It's not my fault. They're doing subliminal messaging. <laughs> They're adding it for us to buy pretty feels cheap pretty but feels cheap they're telling us to buy up their christmas stuff hmm. okay plates oh i love these i always pick up the um asian old asian plates because they are 
pretty spectacular and they're they're breaking all over the place so we want to rescue them <laughs> Let me grab that I just hope that there's no issues underneath the the um, sticker let's grab those there's a set this scares the crap out of me I'm allergic to gluten well I have celiac disease so can't have gluten imagine eating food on a whole wheat picture plate picture of a whole wheat <laughs> scene <laughs> not let us not <laughs> it's a nightmare for me Ikea gets me all the time because they have nice stuff nice looking things oh there's like a little plate mm. okay be hard to sell just one little plate but um we'll grab it i just want to rescue them this is nice look under everything resin see what i mean they're putting out christmas stuff left and right there you go again. <laughs> Do you think they're trying to tell us something? <laughs> okay. Let's see what else we can find. Pretty. It reminds me of Moser. These might be uranium. Let's grab my black light. All right. Got it in my hand. Not uranium. Too bad. I think I would have picked them all up, even at four dollars. Kind of looks like it. It's like repro. Yeah, but you know what? It would be safe, safer to eat on. Not that you can't eat on or drink with uranium glass. You can. I just wouldn't recommend doing it all the time. But there's like layers upon layers and upon layers of glass covering it but i mean you have to ask yourself there's a reason why it's not so popular in a household anymore <laughs> um oh, bless you oh so cute oh wait a minute Ooh, sunrise and what about this thing oh, it's modern but that's kind of cool i saw some more back here too this is really neat okay get project piece they stuck a napkin holder on the top. It's like people are like, in the past, they were like, you know what, I need a pot. I'll just make one. <laughs> we buy everything nowadays. Oh, it's kind of nice. It's not going to pay $12 for that, but I like it. These are probably maybe Danish. upping the prices on the metal pieces like that on those since we're on the topic of Christmas maybe we'll look here real quick these are glass ornaments these don't sell for nothing oh man I made a mistake and bought a whole bunch of them when I first started thrifting and reselling <laughs> and I ended up donating a lot of them back oh look at this Wait a minute, at first glance you think, well, maybe that's a uh, dog bowls, uh, a dog bowl set, but then you find out it's something mid-century. And yeah, there's a lot of wear to it, but not in the front, the bottom. Isn't that neat? I think so, for $4.99. We'll grab that, so cool. I was just sitting on the floor. I think that was awesome. Oh, well, he's cool. Somebody made that. Hmm. That one's kind of Hawaiian-like. Summertime's coming, so like a summery one. Sweet summertime. Okay. Look at this woman's sculpture. 
be heavy. That's a pickup item. That is not a ship item. <laughs> Although I do have a rule. If it fits in the box, I can ship it. But, you know, the cost of shipping would be super high. That's the thing. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. I would like to go down here. We'll see if we can get through. Oh, I like these coasters. Again, coasters that were, thought I thought they were Raku. There's only three of them. Mm, one ninety nine. Not really. These are French style. These are stones, stoneware. Terracotta, redware, Southwest Coasters, wheel something, $5.99, Sun Coasters, okay, I think those are cool, um, I saw this for $7.99, it's modern, and I saw this, yeah, it's a lot of money, but... I have this thing with wooden stuff that's uh, wooden fruit, bananas, mango, maybe an apple, pears, grapes. And uh, so it's half of $19.99, so it's going to be $20. I mean, it's going to be $10. So we're going to get that. Don't know how well that sells, but I like it. That's the thing. There's like rocking chair coasters that are wood carved. That oh, one's coming out so we can look at them. I mean, that's just so cool. But I have a strong feeling that's gonna sit on my shelves for a while, but I could be wrong. Let me know, you guys. Should I have picked that up for five dollars? I don't know. It's nice for $7.99. The shape. Oh, look at this. Oh, it's missing a whole bunch of shelves. Oh, and alpaca, too. Oh! It was alpaca silver. I don't want to dig in here. I don't want to get cut. Well, this is cool if you want to do a bank heist. You know, those always creep me out. <laughs> Two ninety nine. That bank heist stuff here. I'm not encouraging you to do a bank heist. I just thought it was funny that it was there. <laughs> oh, look at this. Oh, it's a Day of the Dead hat. You know, for like the parties, I guess. My lord, I like the shape of this basket. Oh, it looks like it's missing a whole bunch of stuff. I don't know why there's glue all around it. Oh, $2.99. I don't, I don't, I wouldn't know how to take that glue off. Just come right off. No. Oh my gosh, look at this. It's missing a flamingo. That's hilarious, $1.99. Missing the flamingo would be hard. <laughs> Obviously somebody made that. I don't know how to make another flamingo like that. Okay. Wow, look at these. Look at this. Hmm. Little pirate ship. Wow, look at that. Is that Dionysus? The god of wine? <laughs> oh, this is nice. This is vintage. I think you put the bottle in there and you put the cups here. I think that's what this is, but $44. I've seen these before. I think they sell for about 50 to 100, but it's right at, you know, it's, there's no sale. Have yourself a merry little Christmas. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> it's everywhere all right and before we go i found this on my way out it's a little blue vintage etched bucket which hold up i'm gonna have to understand why this is selling for over a hundred dollars on ebay and other platforms is this fostoria june collection rare do you know please let me know in the comments below i'm curious 
handle with some good old patina for $1.99. So I will check out and I will see you at the next thrift store. Please stay tuned for the continuation of this video on the next upload. If you enjoyed this thrifting adventure, please consider subscribing. There will be many more. And if you will, please smash the like button as it does help with the algorithm on YouTube. And as always, catch you on the flip side.